Hey y'all, guess where we are? The train station. Yes, we are taking Amtrak for the first time down to Miami. Um, but we will be taking Brightline on the way back. And we just wanted to see how the two compare. Yeah, so stick around, stay tuned. We're gonna break it down for you. We arrived here at Amtrak so far. It's been, you know, a little hot, a little cold, but we'll see what the rest of it is like. We'll see. Stay tuned. Please go to location K, Asset Kilo, if you're going coach. Passengers with bedrooms, rooms. The Orlando Amtrak station has plenty of indoor seating, vending machines, bathrooms, and a guest service window. Though the station overall needs a little TLC. Two hours later. As the train arrived into the Orlando station, finally, uh, we were instructed to move towards the platform in preparation for boarding. It was a little cold outside. Let me tell you, the quickest part of Amtrak was them scanning your boarding pass and getting you on that train. Oof. Just as dirty as Spirit Airlines. And I paid less. The seats are very comfortable though. And you have a full tray table. Mm -hmm. We made it. We're here. We made it. A little delayed. Very delayed. But we made it. Restrooms are the event. Wow. So that way. <laughs> I think I've had some. Oh, anyway, um, enjoy the sights and scenes. Amtrak has some old school seats. And this knob right here controls the leg rest underneath the seat. You also have a convenient footrest in front of you, which makes traveling a bit more comfortable. West Palm Beach. We have about an hour to go. Um, it's been a comfortable ride. It's very long. It's very long. But comfortable. And I know that's how train rides go. They're longer than just driving to Miami, but I'm also not driving to Miami. Back. Seats are comfy. And bring your snacks. In entertainment. In your entertainment. Wi Fi? No. I should get up and stretch though. I've been sitting. Go enjoy the bathroom. I might do that. That's an experience while the train is moving. I might do that. 
All right, we will check in again in hopefully in Miami. One hour later. It's Manny and Sean. I'm taller than him. He, he's sitting in. It's fine. Um, he got this hair though. He's okay. getting, he's cruise ready. We're here to talk about something else. Yeah, so yesterday we took Amtrak for the first time, as you saw in the beginning of this video. Um, last night after we got home, or not home, <laughs> to the hotel from the station. We were tired, so we were like, we will film the rest of this tomorrow. And so here we are to tell you what we thought of Amtrak. Um, we have one, two, three, four, five, six things to go over. Um, you want to start? Sure. Um, so the first thing is service. And this is our first Amtrak trip, so yes, going in blind. Um, service was okay. Um, okay, so it was good. We just had a bad interaction with uh, the luggage, or I don't know who he was. I don't per know who he was. Either. Person in the ticket office. In Orlando. Yeah. So we got there. I thought I was talking. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> we got there probably an hour and 20 minutes early because the train was delayed. Very delayed. Well, it became more delayed. But. <laughs> we go up to the baggage office because we don't have a clue, right? He's like, what train you're on? We tell him, he's like, just listen to my announcements. And then pretty much close the gate. Yeah. And we're like, okay. And then we go outside from the terminal. We see a sign that says baggage needs to be checked uh, 45 minutes before departure. So we're like, mm, we're still within that time frame, right? Right. Uh, then we see him coming up because he is frantic. There's three late trains. He doesn't handle stress well. And Sean asks him again. He's like, you're late. It's an hour before departure. Points at the sign. And he's like, you'll have to take your bags with you. And I'm just like, I have, we have, I have one large bag. He has one large bag. Like, where are we supposed to put these bags? So Manny was like... Yeah, we, I saw somebody else, and I'm like, go ask him. Um, be that person. Sometimes you got to be that person where you ask somebody else. Mm -hmm. I don't like that, but in this case, we needed to. It was needed. So I went over to the guy, and I was like, look, this is my first time taking Amtrak. The guy over there told me that I can't check my bags. I was like, my train is delayed. It's not leaving anytime soon. Can I check my bags? And he was like, come on. He, well, he asked me how many bags I had. I told him two. He said, bring them over here. I took them to the door. He asked me what train I was on. Um, I told him. He asked me what my last name was. He took the bags into the little room. He came back. He asked me what my first name was. And it matched what he was seeing. And he gave me the claim ticket. And it was that simple. Done. Done. I don't understand why that other guy... Because we, as we sat there waiting... For our train, we saw other people in the same situation trying to check their bags. Right. There was nobody beyond him inside the terminal. Right. So and you had to get other staff that was obviously doing other things. Right. Getting ready for a train coming. But it seemed like the other people were more friendly Friends. and were more willing to help you, especially since the trains were delayed. So there, there were, he, what he told us was it was like an airport and you got to be here an hour before. And believe me, I did a ton of research before doing this because I like to be, I like to plan ahead. I like to know what's going to happen or what I need to do. Anyway, um, he so will yes. write a book for you. <laughs> It'll be on Amazon soon. Go ahead, finish your thoughts on service. 
what he was saying, I will summarize, is he did lots of research. Nowhere did it say we needed to arrive an hour before departure to check in our bags, but he was trying to say in a very long way. Um, um, but beyond that, everybody else was great. The conductor that checked us in, once we boarded, the train was good. And that was it. I, mean, I don't think there was much service beyond that. We didn't go to the food cart. Yeah. Um, there was a food cart on board. Um, yeah, that was it on service. We got our bags quickly when we arrived to Miami. The lady there was nice. Mm -hmm. She told you, be ready, have your tags ready. Uh, yeah, so service was, I would say, four stars. Out of five? Mm -hmm. I'll give it four stars out of five. Yeah, it, it, it's all that man. He lost the star. He lost the Uvala star. Um, next, we'll do value for money. Um, so, our tickets were 36? 38. 38 a person. Um, you get your check bags free. Two, two bags per person. Um, you get two carry-ons, a personal and a carry-on. And for that amount of money and being as comfortable as I was on the trip, besides the, the train being delayed, I think it's a great value for the money. Yeah, I didn't have any qualms with the with the cost of it and what you got for it. Yeah. I mean, I would say it's an upgraded Spirit Airlines experience. No, agree with Spirit no, Airlines. that puts it really low. Yeah, it puts it really low. It's like, an upgraded Southwest okay. experience. Okay, it's I will like take in, that. It's like you're in first class on Southwest. If Southwest had a first class. First class. <laughs> <laughs> um, and much more, well, we'll talk about that. We'll talk about it. Reliability. Reliability. So this is an not reliable thing that came up a <laughs> lot when I was doing my research. Um, was that trains are often delayed, and such was the case for us. Um, at first, it started off with like it was like thirty minutes, right, or fifteen minute delay, and it just kept going. We were originally supposed to leave at one nineteen. We wound up leaving at two thirty. I don't even remember at this point. <laughs> it was like an hour, 48, 49 minutes late. Yeah. When we arrived tonight. Um, and sometimes the trains can make up that time. It just depends because it depends on how many stops they have to make and if people are actually getting on at those stops. That's um, probably the biggest thing with reliability is it stops consistently. Yes. yes. Um, I don't know how many stops we did just from <laughs> Orlando to Miami. <laughs> right. I want to say it was like 12. And I was like, I didn't even know there was many, that many stations going down there. I didn't even know. So reliability, I would say three. I'm going to give it two and a half. Two and a half. <laughs> okay. So I would, that averages out to three. Yeah. I would just say if you're going on a trip and if you need to be somewhere, if like you're going for a concert or something, then you might want to just go the day before. Definitely. Um, like we're going on a cruise, so we came the day before. Just be we didn't want to run into this situation. <laughs> we saw some people, we heard some people were going on another cruise today. Yeah. And they came from North Carolina. They came the day before. So. Right. That's Liability, a little sketch, but it gets you there. It, it does get you there. And this particular delay was because there was a system issue. In New York. In New York. But this train is also historically late. Yes. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> uh, next thing is comfort. Comfort. So, again, doing research, people raved about how comfortable the seats were and how much leg room you had. I am six foot one, so I appreciate a lot of leg room. I don't get a lot of that on planes, but this train, amazing. Seats, super comfortable. You have a footrest. Um, you also have a little leg thing that comes from underneath the seat. Think about like premium economy on a plane where mm -hmm. they have that little leg thing that comes up. And they also have a foot stool or foot rest. Yes. So you can choose what you want. I would say it was a upgraded, better premium economy from an airline because the seats are way bigger. I agree with that. And way comfortable. I've, I've, well, I've never traveled on premium economy, <laughs> but I've seen the seats. I worked for an airline. So they weren't that great. Yeah. I, again, the, the leg room for me, it was the leg room. Like you um, could put a whole another suitcase. Two suitcases. Like, he had to do, like, this to try to reach the, 
the front the seat in front of you. And you get a full tray table Mm-mm. if you want to work. <laughs> you can. We'll get to that. <laughs> um, but comfort, I thought, was five out of five. Five out of five stars for me, too. Technology. So it is a moving train. It is. I get it. But if you want to work whilst on this trip or do anything that may require watch a movie, you can't depend on the Wi-Fi. No. Um, We got on board. We tried to connect to the Wi-Fi and it was an instant. No, thank you. Um, The whole trip. (laughs) trip. So, I, I mean, I have downloaded a bunch of stuff on my tablet to be able to watch just in case the Wi-Fi wasn't working. Um, but he was going to try to do some work for the podcast and stuff, and it just did not happen. Well, at one point during the trip, I tried again, and it said it connected, and, but it didn't really connect. So I would not rely on that technology. Their app is a little ancient as well, I think. It's not as robust as another train line we're trying soon (laughs) um but it gets the job done i guess it gets the job done like i was able to have my boarding pass on my phone in the app um you don't have to print it out you can see the status of your train um so as far as that goes that was fine but the wi-fi was a big no and i've read that you know that varies train per train yeah so i mean technology three stars three stars sounds good um, and then we'll conclude with overall experience. I was very timid about taking Amtrak. Um, Much more timid than me. And I'm usually like the one that's like, mm, well, I'm learning what shit doing. Right. Um, but I have to say, it was a great experience overall. Minus the delay, the trip. Me not having to drive to Miami, I loved it. I was super comfortable. I was relaxed. The train was very quiet, which I was also surprised by. Even though there were three kids sitting in front of us, the train was very quiet. Yeah, everybody mind their P's and Q's. People that were on the phone, you can faintly hear them, but nobody was like being outrageously wild. I was surprised. I enjoyed it. It was my first experience. There's something about, I guess people have said this, you know, being on a train and watching, diff- going through different cities. Of course, Florida is not exciting. <laughs> I'm sure going up north would be way Which more exciting. Like, but Or Midwest. Yeah. But like we went by a park and there was a bunch of kids playing and they're all like waving at the train. So. Going like across the water and seeing like different large houses and there's some swampy areas or whatever, but like, it was still a fun experience. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I would do it again. I would too. Um, the reliability thing is kind of, because we were supposed to be here like 6.59, we got here like 8.30. Yeah. Or no, 7.59, we got here like 7. Yeah. So, it, it, by the time we got to a hotel, we are like, <laughs> but if it's running on time and you get there on time, then it's, it's going to be great. The delay didn't hamper our experience. No. Uh, I would have maybe left a little later to get to the terminal. Well, then you really wouldn't be able to check your bag. (laughs) Because apparently you have to check it in by the original departure time. I mean, knowing what I know now, after going through it for the first time, I think I'd be a little bit prepared for my next time. Um, But I would would definitely take Amtrak again. I would too. I recommend it. Yeah. So what do you rate your overall experience? Overall experience, I want to say five. Four and a half stars. Four and a half stars. Four and a half. I'll go with that. Because of the man at the check-in. He just rolled it for Amtrak. I'm sorry to that man. You know, work on your customer (laughs) service, sir. But we weren't rude to you. We could have been. Yes. So that concludes our review of Amtrak. But stay tuned because next we will be reviewing bright line because we will be taking them from miami to orlando yep so if you're planning miami to orlando orlando to miami this is the video for you stay tuned look out for our second part on bright line which will be our next video coming out soon and then you can compare amtrak versus bright line